Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Pumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire. It is by Whalehammer Games and released on August 31st, 2016. If you guys remember way back in March, I believe it was, of 2015, I actually did a first look video of this exact game. It was nothing more than really a proof of concept or maybe a combat demo just to kind of get an idea of what the game had to offer. I was impressed. I really liked it. I wanted to see what they were going to do with it. It is here now. I have my hands on it. I'm going to play it. Now, a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh, I thought you said, my lord. I don't know why you sound that way, but in my mind you do. Well, I thought you said, my lord, that you weren't going to be covering a lot more new games before we finish some of the old ones. Now, this is true, and there have been a few things that I've been covering that are new, but a lot of them are stuff that I promised to cover from, well, first look videos or early access videos. That being said, that's kind of where we're at. We're going to hop in, we're going to start playing, we're going to enjoy, and, well, let's see what it has to offer. All right, it looks like we have a multiple different choices here that we can choose from to start with difficulty. And I think all of this is going to be fine. I'm going to leave all this down here. All right, we can be a wayfarer, a voyager, a leader, or a princess. Clearly, I am a princess. <laughs> Not really, but it's fine. All right, designed for newcomers to turn-based tactics or players who are more interested in focusing on the story. On this difficulty level, combat can be skipped. Huh. Minimal challenge. That seems weird. Like, is that a thing that a lot of people like? Do people like being able to skip combat or just skip all of it? Is that a thing people do? I don't know. I mean, chime in in the comment section if you guys like to do that. I mean, I guess it's cool to have it as an option, but I, I don't know. It seems weird because while I enjoy a storyline in a video game, I really do like stories and games. Uh, I need some sort of gameplay to really tie it in. Otherwise, I would just be a visual novel junkie, and in reality, I really don't care for those that much. So... Yeah, I need some sort of gameplay, some sort of something to do. So, to me, that's very odd that people would just want to skip. But again, I can see if you were getting stuck in combat, you couldn't get past it, having that as an option is kind of cool. So, I guess I'll go with that. Anyway, we're not we're not going to be a Wayfarer. Uh, Voyager. Designed for players who are regular gamers, but not, might not have extensive experience with turn-based tactics games. Nah, I am a little bit beyond that, I would say. I'm going to probably try this. Now, this is probably going to get me wrecked, and I'm probably going to be upset about it, but we'll give it a shot. Designed for turn-based tactics veterans or relative newcomers who are ready to be pushed. So we'll probably go with Leader. And then, of course, Princess. Designed for players who are looking for an extreme challenge. Only the smartest and toughest will master this difficulty. All right, so there you have it, folks. Let's begin. I'm going to leave all this stuff pretty much stock standard. We're going to go with leader. It may be a mistake. We'll see. We'll see. How's the grass, Ibba? Ibba? Sure. Ibba? Yeah. Edible? Disgruntled snort. I know. Every day that passes, the land here looks more like the devastation in the north. We've seen three abandoned villages in the last week. Morose grunt. And all you care about is food. We'll get back to our camp tomorrow. There might be a few oats there. Cautiously optimistic. Winnie. Hmm. It really depends whether you ate them all, you pig. Deeply offended snort. <laughs> See, I can do that. What? Nailed it! Horse sounds! It's fine. Uh, we can tease Ibba. We can apologize to Ibba. Uh, let's tease Ibba. Sometimes the truth hurts. Do you remember when Saya left the bucket of freshly picked olives outside? She couldn't work out where they had all gone until she saw a greedy horse being sick. Mournful Winnie. I'm not going to Winnie a bunch of guys. It's just not going to happen. It is odd, however, that she can communicate with her horse and her horse understands her and communicates back. It's, it's strange. It's definitely a weird, um... I don't know, relationship, we'll say. Well, I hope for your sake there are still some oats there. The food at the camp will probably be our last good meal for a while. We have to head further south. Once we find the cause of the devastation, I promise we'll travel back north and visit Yasim and uh, Seya's farm. I'm sure I'm butchering names, guys and gals. You're just going to have to accept it and move on. 
it's a thing that I do quite often, and, well, there's not much I can do about it other than continue to butcher. Then you can eat olives to your heart's content. A loving Winnie. I'm glad you're here with me, Ibba. We always have such interesting discussions. <laughs> I need some sleep. Stay close to the fire tonight. Alright, and so be it. What, what, oh, something's happening. The hand is coming from the bottom right. Oh, something just happened over there. Eh. Weird. Ah. Did you see that, guys? If you didn't, you blinked. And that means you missed it. It's fine. That was pretty quick. So, some sort of weird energy ball came flying over here. A startled Winnie to wake him up. Ibba is unhappy. It's alright, Ibba. Shh. It's alright. Stay here. I'll go see what that was. Alright, and it looks like we are finally able to move around and do something on our own. Not that it's been exceptionally long, but it's cool. Alright, we can interact with either space or E. We can use the arrow keys or W, A, S, and D for movement. And left shift will toggle run and walk. Okay. Onward we go. Aha! People lived here once, in better times. Okay. And I'm gonna run on up in here. Who walks there? Uh, who are you? Who won't no, it's her. Who wants to know? Ah, you are a woman. I guessed you were by the lightness of your step. Walk forward so I might see you better. I have not missed your arrogance, father. No woman is yours to command like that. Why have you come here? To tell my recalcitrant daughter it is time to come home. Many things have happened since your juvenile tirade and departure. I have allowed all the time I could for you to return of your own volition. You have neglected your duties for too long. My juvenile tirade? I'm not neglecting my duties. Tirade. When we talked before I left, I spoke of farmers becoming destitute for lack of rain, starving people abandoning their villages and their scores, and rampant banditry. Banditry, which was confirmed, I will add, by your own friend and knight commander, Lord Abaruti. You characterize that as a juvenile tirade? I can't be around you, father. You are beyond reason. There you go again. What you failed to see, what you have always failed to see, is that Avistan is a small kingdom in a perilous position. Its continued existence is contingent on the friendship of the larger nations around us. And now, not even that is enough to protect us. Is that what, you're, is that what you'll tell our people? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Protect us from what? There is an army marching on Avastan, Tahira. They landed on our shores two weeks ago and raised Mazdak to the ground. What? Who would... D did you hear that? Yes, I... We are out of time. I can feel their movement in the light. Uh-oh. That's some seriously bad Juju Magumbo. You dare defy the consuls? That was a foolish decision, old man. With your power, we could have forged a better future. A better future for whom, exactly? I've seen the cities burning on the western coastline people slaughtered by the thousands. Your honeyed words do not disguise the rivers of blood that run beneath your feet, soldier. Your corrupted idea of the Astral Empire is a twisted imitation of what our forebears built. A bastardization of everything it stood for. It is clear that your love for the savages who squat on this land has blinded you to reason. No matter, you will come with us one way or another. If you think that, then you truly are a fool. I will glow! Sorry, it's actually kind of a serious story. I'm going to try not to make too much, or 
have too much fun. I'm not really making fun of this story. I'm just trying to have, you know, comedical stuff thrown. It, it's, I don't know, it detracts a little bit, guys. I'll try to keep it a little bit more tame for this. Tahira, their army is only days from the capital. We must return home and find a way to lead our people out of its path. Nothing will stand between them and what they seek. They will kill every last one of us if they have to. And they will do it gladly. I left the staff with Lord Abaruti. He will be waiting for you at the southern waypoint. Meet him there! I will, Father, I promise. Beware the words of angels if you meet them on the road. Goodbye, Tahira. I love you. Okay, so that was a very weird series of events. Father. Alright, let's return to Iba. Our horsey horse of uh, the horsiness. So, seriously bad stuff is happening apparently to the north where we were heading away from. And now we have, uh, we have to head back there. A questioning Winnie says Iba. Or, as the response from Iba. It was Father. The land is going to have to wait, Iba. We need to go back to the capital. Something bad is happening there. A foreboding Winnie. Try to get some sleep. We have a long ride ahead of us. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Tahira, Echoes of the Astral Empire. So, this seems like it's going to be kind of a pretty heavy story, so we're going to, like I said, I'm going to try to ease off some of the more comedical things I may or may not say. I don't know how funny I am. Some people seem to think I'm funny, others seem to think I'm stupid. It's all fine. I'm funny and stupid. It's, you know, I can do multiple different things when I speak, and it's okay. So we're going to try to let this be a little bit more serious, not be too over the top with our our jokes. So, the western mountains are that way, the Abri lowlands are to the southeast, and the Asim Watchtower is right before us. My wise father. The Asim Watchtower. I'm assuming this is like a chapter. Ooh, that's bright. There it is, Iba. I thought I saw smoke when we crested the last ridge. What devastation must the invaders have wrought to cause that? I can only hope anyone whose home was in their path has found a way to escape. A concerned Winnie. We need to get to the southern waypoint as quickly as we can, but we can't ride blindly into a war zone. If there were still soldiers stationed at this tower, we'd know what was going on. Avistan used to keep watch over this land from Mazdak's borders to the northern tip of the wilds. Now, thanks to my wise father, most of our people huddle in a city that's been swallowed by the desert. Look where that's got us. Beware the words of angels if you meet them on the road. I wonder what he meant by that. I've never heard of anyone meeting an angel. But then, well, how would you know if you did meet one? Well, there's nothing we can do about it now. Let's stop at Yasim and Seiya's for supplies and see if they know what's happening. An excited Winnie from Iba. Yes, no doubt they will have some olives for you. Well, at least I hope they will. Alright, onward to get to olives. I do like me some black olives. Green olives I can eat with stuff generally. I, I can't really eat them by themselves. They're a bit too pungent or strong or potent, if you will. And then there's like the, I don't know if they're purple or what they're called or considered, but there's the ones that you get for uh, like in the Greek salad. They're different than black olives. And I don't like black olives unless they've been pitted. Homecoming. Yasim and Aseya's Farmstead. We're here! I can't wait to see them. An excited Winnie from Iba. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Nor does it sound good. Who, who was that? A nervous Winnie. 
Stay here, Ibba. I'll go check it out. Alright, let's go see what's going on. It looks like the gate's been, like, bashed in or something. I don't know. Oh. Oh, that's not good. This booze tastes like this. What do you expect from a bunch of dirt farmers? Boys, raise a glass to the dead. Let them be a reminder of how far the human race has fallen. Hair, hair. Hey. Hey. Another one? I thought you fools said there were only two of them. There were. I haven't seen this one before. She's not so old. Give her to me, Captain. I'll look after her. You want to bleep one of these primitives? Disgusting. Both of you, shut up. She could be the one we're looking for. What's your name, girl? Why would I tell you anything? By the way, folks, I'm sure it's going to polarize people one way or the other, but this is a general rule. I, I don't cuss, so when you, you're going to see it here. I'm not going to censor the actual t text or anything like that, but... I'll either say, like, instead of actually cussing, I'll say F, or I'll just do a bleep word or something like that. It's fine. It's what I choose. I know there's kids that watch. I don't have to perpetuate the quote-unquote problem. And I know some people will hate it, but that's just where we're at, guys and gals. Hopefully you can move past it. If it does bother you, suck it up and deal with it. But if not, well, you know, some people appreciate it. So it's really, you know, down the middle one way or the other. But I lean toward the, well, more conservative side. So go with that. Anyway. Who am I? You slaughtered my friends. I'm not telling you anything. What possible reason could you have for doing this? What purpose do cattle serve except to be slaughtered? You should be thankful we liberated them from the drudgery of their existence. Just as we will do to you if you don't tell us your name, girl. I'm gonna fight you. I have nothing to say to you, murderer. What a pity. Well, General Faramon did say we needn't bring the girl back alive. <laughs> Kill her, boys. You can try. Alright, and welcome to Combat in Tahira, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, now you... Or, sorry, you are now in combat. The moving white circle around Tahira means that she is the active unit. The blue, the blue squares are the squares that she can move to. Active unit, blue squares. Okay. Uh, well, I should say okay. Click on the marked square to select it for your move with Tahira. Now click on the confirm move tile to make Tahira move to that square. Simple enough. This is the action menu. It shows you which actions your unit has available to it. Okay. Click on the attack panel to select an attack for Tahira. Well, now we could do this or W, the top one up here, A, S, and D. So in this particular thing, WASD does not move the camera around, so you will have to deal with it. I think you can drag the camera if it is movable, but it's not movable in this case. So I'm going to press A for attack and click on this guy. There it is. Now that Tahira used her action for the turn by attacking, she has been dimmed. She has been dimmed. I'm sorry, guys. I, I kind of I, I, I kind of dimmed when I went to say that. As has her unit stat shield. She is still free to move, but can make no further attacks. Okay. However, there is no benefit to moving Tahira anywhere right now, so click the weight panel to make her inactive. So we're going to press S. Auto advance, and we'll be able to stop it if we want, or we can let it go. Alright. Going to swing at us and hit us for two on our right side shield thing there. Okay. Oh, so that's our guard. Okay, so let's take a look. So our guard is the right, the top right thing. Our HP is the top left. And I guess our move is 6, and our will is 5. I don't know what will is for, and our attack is 9. 9 is not re represented on the shield. Okay, that's cool. That shows it all down here, and we're a princess. What is the P there? Slippery. Tahira will dodge the first denial attack made against her each turn. And defensive formation. Tahira takes one less damage when he... Should be should be when she is attacked for each adjacent ally with uh, defensive formation, who is parallel to the attacker. 
Alright, cool stuff. Alright, let's attack him. You can just click on him too, and that will work. Is that all you've got? Drunken idiots, I'll put you down myself. Alright, now it looks like the El Capitan is ready to go, so we're gonna move. We're gonna use W to move. Actually, we already attacked this turn, right? So I'm gonna actually not do that. I'm gonna move maybe down here? And get away from you. There's special actions? Nope. Alright, and we're just gonna wait. Let him come to us. He's got six movement. He's gonna make it to us no matter what. Alright, so he blasted us for six. I don't know if we can, like, can we right click on him? Can we get more information, like, see his attack? Let's see here. Toggle unit stats. That's kind of cool. Uh, enemy range overlay. Oh, that's interesting. Fast forward, help, uh, toggles the tutorial overlay on or off, and the menu options. Now, what's this? Playable area. Toggle an outline around the edge of the... Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright, well, we're just going to attack. I mean, that's that's what we're going to do right now. So, we're going to attack, and we broke through and almost killed him in one shot, but not quite enough. And we're just going to wait here. Alright, he attacks. I guess he does five with his attack, and we do nine with ours. He's going down here. Die! So, let's just all appreciate how amazingly awesome and super just, like, a badass she is, because... Alright, well, she threw up. Maybe that negates some of that. Anyway, before we continue on, but she just beat up three pretty heavily armored and with, like, shields and swords and metal helmets with a stick. With a bow staff. She beat the crap out of them and won. And, in fact, I'm pretty sure she killed them. That's pretty impressive. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, we can rest for a minute. Let's do that. Breathe, Tahira. Just breathe. Yeah, that's gotta suck. So these are apparently her friends. They were just murdered for no good reason, I guess. I can't believe this has happened. Forgive me, Yasim, Seiya. You took me in when I thought I had no place left to go. Had I never met you, these men would have not come here. Would not have come here, sorry. Now, there's no time to wash your bodies or to set you to rest. Every moment I delay puts more people at risk. <sighs> Yasim un Avastan, Seiya un Avastan, you are as parents to me. I will not forget that. Wherever the light takes you, please be at peace. Alright, looks like we have some interactable things here. Let's go check this out. The garden. Seiya's garden. She didn't talk about it much, but I think this is where she and Yasim buried their daughter. These amphoras are filled with olives. Ibo will be happy. I guess. Now I can leave when I want to. Alright, what's this? The dead oxdale. Poor Hanifa. I hope you've gone to a better place. Apparently they named their their bull. Yasim? Tahira, there is something I wanted to talk to you about. Or, Tahira! No, Tahira, there's something I wanted to talk to you about. Seiya and I are concerned about your father. You've been away from home for nearly two years. Surely he will be worried about you. I doubt that, Yasim. The only thing he worries about is his kingdom. I'm sure that's not true. I know you've had a difficult relationship with him, but all parents worry about their children. You don't know him. The only thing he ever had interest in talking about with me was the future of Avastan. And even then, it was just to lecture me or to criticize the ideas I had to help the kingdom. Your father is responsible for the lives of many people. He may not always be free to be the person that he wants to be. I know that, but he's stubborn. Avastan has so many problems he's not dealing with. Out here, I can do some good. It's better for both of us. If he wants to see me so badly, or badly enough, he can come and find me. Huh. Flashback time, apparently. 
Alright, so we'll be doing some flashbacks. We can't go up in there anymore, huh? It's fine. Alright, and I guess this is Seiya. Or Saja. If you head far enough southwest, you'll find the edge of the wilds. It used to mark the southern border of Avastan until it started to spread further north. Then that's where I need to go. I've seen too many forsaken towns, Seiya. Things cannot stay as they are. I understand, but please be careful, Tahira. The wilds is not idly named. Strange creatures roam in its shadows. Don't worry about me, I can handle myself. You remember the story about the bandits in Tarifa. I do, and, well, that's precisely why I worry. One day your brashness may lead you into trouble. Well, I'd rather that than just sitting around and ignoring the world's troubles, say ya. I'm sorry, don't mind me, Tahira. I'm an old woman. It's my prerogative to worry. When will you be leaving? Well, not for another couple of weeks. Yasim and I have nearly finished digging the new well. Ah, that's good. It gives me time to put a little party together. It wouldn't do to let you go without a proper send-off. Well, that is unfortunate. So, dead friends that were like parents to her. Oh. Have you got everything, Tahira? I think so. Seiya, uh, Yasim, I don't know how to thank you for all your kindness. You can come back and visit us. We know you have a long journey ahead of you, but when you need a rest, we'll be waiting for you. Oh, that reminds me. I wrapped up some food for you. Between us, there's a little surprise for Ibba. An excited Winnie. Thank you, Seiya. Uh, I'll be sure to hold off or hold on to it until he really deserves it. A disgusted snort. <laughs> That's a disgusting snort. I'm sorry, guys. I said I'd, I'd, I'd pull back, not completely stop. I'm going to miss you both so much. There will always be a place for you here, Tahira. Always. Alright, well, we're going to head to the next place, and that's probably where I'm going to break off the uh, episode. The questioning Winnie from Ibba. Well, let's tell Ibba what happened. Yasim and Seiya are dead, Ibba. I distressed Winnie. I killed the men who did it, whatever good that does. Say goodbye. I don't think we'll be back here again. Alright, so be it, I guess. Yeah, so the game starts off pretty sad and depressing, not gonna lie. It's it's not great. Definitely uh, sets the mood as a, a very somber game. Yeah, dead friends, uh, bad relationship with your father, you're trying to do some good, he seems to be ignoring a lot of the problems in the land. Uh, you obviously don't see eye to eye with your father, and just, yeah, bad stuff. And apparently people want to murder you, no matter what. But you're an amazing super ultra mega death fighter with a stick, so that's good, sort of. And you can talk to your horse. The end of Avastan, the southern waypoint. Alright, Eva, time to be a princess again. Alright, folks, so with that, I'm going to break off the episode right here. I hope you guys had some fun with it. It's definitely going to be a fun game. It's going to be probably a pretty heavy game, but I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe, and share it. And if you guys want more information about the game, the developer, where to get the game, any of that wonderful fun stuff, it'll be down below in the description of the video, as it always is. And until the very next episode, folks, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.